Uh, this is something that I wanted to share at the last meeting, but it was uh, it, it was just really hard for me to do so. So I will try it this time. Um, as you might uh, have heard, uh, Puerto Rico has been trembling since the end of the year. And I went with a group of elected officials from the Vieja Valley. And it was the hardest visit I ever had to do. I'm only sharing this because since the beginning of January, the Hispanic Center has received 14 families from Puerto Rico to Bethlehem. Uh, more are going to come. It, it's shaking every day. I just felt one, one earthquake from 4.6, and it was very scary. Especially after you see whole towns, downtowns, completely closed, completely empty because of the destruction. So I am I'm saying this. First of all, if you have co-workers, anybody that you know that has that is from Puerto Rico, more, more likely than not has family in Puerto Rico. And the hearts are breaking, like mine is. And I'm also saying this because we need to be prepared. I'm not talking with the mayor already. The Hispanic Center is having their fundraiser, the annual fundraiser in April. And I'm hoping that individuals, you know, even members of council, you can place an ad, you know, $150 will be a big help. I'm hoping that individuals do support the center because more families are gonna come according to the, the experts, it, it might be shaking for six months. He might be shaking for a year. You know, I talk with families. I saw families with they're living in a tent outside in the house in the backyards because they're afraid to go back to sleep in their own bed. I talk with a mother that her two-year-old since January 7th, the two-year-old has not been able to eat does not want to eat, not even a piece of candy. She's only be drinking milk. This mother is scared because she's worried about the baby's health. You know, you think about a two-year-old, what is supposed to be going through the mind of a two-year-old other than play, eat, and sleep? This baby has been impacted so dramatically that she can eat. You know, and I said again, it was the hardest visit I ever done. I was born and raised in Puerto Rico. I go once or twice a year. Never seen something like that. Never. And you know, I, I just fear, and I have heard many families that are saying, I'm welcoming my family even for a month, for a year, for whatever it takes. They're sleeping in airbags right here in our community because it is, I mean, how much can you take of that? Um, it, it was really devastating to see it, to feel it. I heard stories that, you know, I had to drown on them. Heartbreaking. So I, I, I please ask everybody, the Hispanic Center is welcoming them. They don't have the funds available to help out. The Red Cross is doing a great job as well. But, you know, we keep on doing uh, uh, great buildings with beautiful exotic homes and we don't have affordable house you know people are coming to work I have already three individuals that were interviewed and they're gonna come to work at St. Luke's they're gonna be working right here because they could speak English they have a degree they can take this no more in the island so we're gonna have more people coming to the Lehigh Valley and I'm hoping that everybody thinks about this with a big heart uh, not just to, to embrace and welcome them. You know, I think about all the stressors that we already have within our communities. Um, you know, or, or, and, and it's just, it's, it's devastating to me. I, I sometimes wish I could say, don't come this way. Why are you coming here? We don't have housing for you. We don't have, so, you know, it's going to be tough. Uh, but how can I say that after seeing what I saw after? living and experiencing what they did. So I am hoping that everybody has a big heart, support the Hispanic Center. They are going to be needing more funding that they can use to help these families that will keep on coming. And please, have a big heart, have, be <coughs> compassionate. 
Um, this is not an easy thing. I mean, I wish you could just think about it and, and see yourself instead of having a beautiful king-size bed inside your house, you're afraid to go walk in because you don't know if the next shake is going to break your house apart. So therefore, you're sleeping outside with your children in an air mattress in your tent. It's not an easy thing to do, and you don't know when it's going to stop. It's really tough. So uh, I just really hope that everybody think about this. Look at the Hispanic Center website. Help them out. You know, again, you can put an ad for $150. Put an ad in the paper saying, you know, we're with you. Whatever it might be, uh, you can donate online. We're going to need that help. And I know I talked with the mayor, and he said he's going to do something on the website. I appreciate that. Um, you, um, you're an emeritus board member of the Hispanic Center, so I hope you take that into heart and reach out to your friends, to the developers, to everybody that has all that money that loves to spend it out. This is a good cause and they need it. We really need to, to give a hand in here. Thank you, President Warren.